We are hearing from the wife of a sailor who is serving three years in a Japanese jail. Weeks ago, Navy Lieutenant Ridge Alconis was sentenced to three years in prison for a car crash that killed two people in Japan. His attorneys said he experienced altitude sickness and lost consciousness, but ultimately a court ruled that he fell asleep and that he should have pulled over. Joe Khalil is live now to explain the fight of a lifetime of a mother and a wife finds herself in. Joe? Mitch, your heart really goes out to them. You know, it's been two weeks now almost since Lieutenant Ridge uh, was reported to a Japanese prison. And since then, his wife tells us it's been incredibly difficult on their family, especially on their children. But she says the family is holding out hope something can be done to bring her husband back to the U.S. I'm just fighting every day to get him home. It's a fight Brittany Alconis never thought she'd have to take on. Her husband and father to their three kids, Navy Lieutenant Ridge Alconis, sits in a Japanese prison cell. Today, Brittany, desperately working to get him home, plays the role of advocate and diplomat on top of being mom. She says it's taken a toll on her kids. I love them and I want to be there at every available moment, but sometimes I have to go and I have to work to get daddy home. And my oldest um, and my middle child definitely understand that. My youngest, not as much. He's four. He still thinks when we go back to Japan that daddy's going to be home. Um, and so that's hard. In May of last year, while stationed in Japan, Lieutenant Alconis was driving. Brittany and the kids were in the car when they say Ridge lost consciousness due to altitude sickness. The car swerved and hit three people. Two of them died. Despite Alconis' medical emergency, Japanese authorities sentenced him to three years in prison. I do have significant concerns, as I've expressed publicly, with how this case was handled. Congressman Mike Levin has been working with the Alconis family. He says Lieutenant Alconis wasn't given the normal due process before being jailed nor was he given a medical exam. I do think that uh, it warrants uh, review, ultimately uh, at the White House, and I'm hopeful uh, that that will happen. Meantime, Brittany says she's hopeful, but realistic about the challenges that lie ahead, demanding action. There is a diplomatic way to get him home. I expect nothing less than that. You know, my, my children deserve to have their father home. You know, one thing that often gets lost in this story, Brittany and the children were actually in the car with Lieutenant Alconis when he lost consciousness and hit those three people. There's a level of trauma that comes along with that, but Brittany tells me that at this point, they just don't have the time, energy, resources to deal with that because all of it goes toward trying desperately to get Lieutenant Alconis out of a Japanese prison. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.